is. So this story is called Conan's Woolly Body and it is taken from the book Ancient Irish Legends by Parik O'Farn. So the Fianna were a band of warriors who acted as bodyguards to the High Kings of Ireland. Their headquarters was a fortress on the hill of Allen, the only tower of significance among the plains of County Kildare. Conan McMorna was an unpopular member of the Fianna. He was ugly, obese and given to backbiting and jeering. Since he was bald, his colleagues often called him Conan Meal. Consistently, he broke the tradition of generosity that prevailed among the Fianna, particularly concerning food. A glutton, he was always the last to leave the big table in the refectory. Unlike the others, he never removed his clothing and everyone knew why. His body was covered with coarse black wool instead of hair. This is how it happened. Hunting in a strange forest one day, the Fianna happened upon a wide, bright track that led them to an impressive green-roofed palace whose walls were of some strange texture that sparkled. Curiosity drove them to call a greeting through its open door, but they received no reply. They entered, and in the main dining room they saw a huge table laden with Shan Gak Ji, August Nua Gak Bia, the oldest of drink and the freshest of food. There was silver tableware, and the dishes were piled high as if for a banquet. The Fianna sat down and began to eat and drink their fill. One of them noticed the expensively draped wall opposite him turned to coarse tree bark. Another screamed as he spotted the ceiling, moving slowly downwards. A third saw the other three walls closing in and shouted to his fellow warriors to evacuate the enchanted building quickly. They spilled food and wine as they dashed for the door, jumping across the table and knocking over benches in their haste. The second last man out looked back from the doorway and spotted Conan the Bald still stuffing himself with food, even though he knew he was unsafe. Calling two friends, this man went back and tried to pull the intemperate oaf from his stool. He was stuck. The walls kept closing in and the ceiling now was almost touching their heads. They gave a last mighty heave and released Conan, but left his clothes and some of his skin stuck to the stool. They laid him in the forest outside, his raw flesh glistening in the sun just like the palace walls. A shepherd... Wending his way homeward, kindly offered a fleece from a black sheep to cover the unfortunate Conan. It grafted itself on, and that is how the glutton of the Fena became Willie. So, that's that. Thank you. Bye-bye.